Hey, this is Chris with Cycle Source Magazine, Grease and Gears TV, and we are at the St. Paul River Center getting ready to head in to the 33rd annual Donnie Smith Custom Bike Show. First year back after the COVID break, and everybody is piling in, man. It's sure not a shortage of people here. The lines this morning for the ticket booth were ridiculous. It was outside, out the door of the place. Um, tons of vendors inside, tons of fantastic bikes. We're gonna take you guys around today, show you as much of this as we can, get some interviews. Uh, Dennis Kirk has the garage builders set up. We're gonna talk to some of those guys and, and bring you everything we can from the 33rd annual Donnie Smith Custom Show. Come on, let's go check it out. here at the 33rd annual Donnie Smith Show with the man himself. First of all, happy birthday. Well, thank you very much. It's a great achievement. I mean, not just not just your age, everything that you've done in your life, this wonderful show. I forget how great this show is. And, and I mean, as far as the people and the conversation, like it, it really is a special thing that's been created here. You know, I, I hear that all the time, that, you know, that about how great it is, you know, that even like Dave Perry with my very dear friend, he said, I go to a lot of shows, but the quality of the bikes that you show are like top to everything. We're Minnesota, that's all I can say. You know, we all, the shops get along and the people get along and the shops participate. That's just how Minnesota's been for, since the 70s. Yeah, you know? that's a good part of the country. Yeah. Thirty-third annual, incredible! I get the opportunity to stand with with one of my heroes in all of this, Mr. John Kozmoski. When I first sold the corporate, the first thing they said was, "We're going to get all the big companies that use a lot of products, and that's who we're going to deal with." I put my hand up, and he said, "Yeah, John, what's up?" I said, "Well, this company was built one customer at a time, grassroots, working with that customer to make sure that his job turns out right. That's how this company was founded." You know, we were the first company to use 100% organic pigments. Nobody ever did that before. No. They always mixed them with the earthbound pigments to save money. Never intended to sell a quart of paint to anybody. Yeah. I wanted the paint for me. And then the other painters came to me and, uh, and, and said, will you sell me a quart of that? Well, I started painting in 1956, but I didn't call it House of Color until 1964. it down to the last few hours of the last day and I'm with one of my favorite people in the industry, Mr. Brian Clock. Does that mean we get to do this and go, 25 years! Ooh, you want to talk about surviving in the industry? Yeah. Oh. No joke, right? right? We're both 25. That's it, this is the 25 club. So for me, I'm just, I'm thankful. And what I love about the Donnie Smith Show is I walked down the pro class today, right? There's everything in there from a Veloset to a restored Sportster to a perfect 70s era looking shovel head chopper that's just super duper clean to some guy's rat rod thing that he built out of car parts and hemi heads and I don't even know to Paul Yaffe's FXRP version of an 84 shovel head but it has a carbon fiber 21 on it. I got a bunch of young guns and that's what I call them at my team and I love them right and I ask them their opinion and what they want to build and what they would build and what I build are completely different right. But this morning, they said, okay, explain to us these FXR side covers because they don't look like the ones on this bike, right? But they're different. I'm like, okay, well, these two versions are Arlen Ness. This is a carbon fiber one that they made to match the carbon fiber wheels on Brock's bike. This one over here is Yaffe's, and this one's indented versus extroverted. And then let's go over to Chris's booth at Cycle Source. And they're like, what? I go, this is his FXR, and he hand hammered these out, and there's a video you can watch, right?
forward to a uh, swap meet. I missed out on a couple of pieces. I have to show you what I got. Hang yeah. on. Do you remember when we were kids, they came out with a visible V8 motor? Absolutely. And you could turn it and yeah, see the, the pistons? I found this over in the swap area. Oh, look at that. It's a visible twin cam motor. Has an electric motor. You can see all the valves and everything move. 50 bucks I scored that for. Oh, and it's I'll never give you 60. Nope. Right now. Nope. The presentation for for Donnie's birthday at, oh. the, at the dinner the other night, that was that was really, really well thought out and done well. You know, wouldn't we be so lucky to be 80 years old, still building, he's, he's so stoked about this latest FXR, and he's still riding, and, and all the love and respect in that room, you were there. Yep. I mean, what, a, what an event. All right, man, that's gonna be it for the Donnie Smith Show. Um, Wow, what an incredible weekend. More conversation. It's going to take me weeks still to unwrap everything that we went through here and everything that we saw. We're going to be bringing you guys feature bikes and videos from this. But I want to thank Donnie. I want to thank all the hamster guys, especially Neil for putting this all together and Sue for helping it stay on the tracks. And uh, we're going to see you guys again real soon. Next stop is Fredericksburg, Texas, where we're coming out for the Texas Fandango. Until then, I'm Chris with Cycle Source TV. We'll catch you guys down the road. <laughs>